Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is a profile on Mr. Homer Wheaton. And of course, the uh, purpose of this uh, profile is to simply highlight uh, some of the accomplishments and some of the things that Mr. Wheaton has been involved in uh, before his retirement at Tennessee State University. And of course, Mr. Wheaton, let me welcome you to uh, the show this morning. Uh, thank you, Dr. Haney. It's a, very, it's a pleasure to be here today. And to tell you, Mr. Wheaton, how delighted we are to uh, have you. And uh, we might say up front that I've known you for the last 30 years. But uh, what we'd like to do this morning is to go back way beyond that. And, and, and perhaps not so far beyond, <laughs> but uh, to go back beyond that and to uh, have you to talk about for the first segment here uh, some of the things that were important in your, your, uh, your background, your education, and where you came from, and that kind of information for about five or six minutes so that our audience can become familiar with you. And, and I'm sure that in doing so, I'll know some things about you that I don't know. And then we'll have that second segment to talk about coming to Tennessee State University and develop it from there. But let's start off by talking talk about your background, education, and some of the things that were important in bringing you here. Uh, my wife would probably say it's a, it's a dangerous thing to ask me to tell you where I'm from. <laughs> and uh, the reason for that is that I'm from the country. I'm from Mississippi, the state of Mississippi. And if you don't know a lot about Mississippi, and you don't know a lot about the big town, you certainly don't know a lot about the country in Mississippi. <laughs> but my, uh, my home area is uh, Jasper County. My post office was Mount Rose, Mississippi, and my community was a place called Baxter. Baxter. And uh, Baxter was about five miles uh, from Mount Rose, Mississippi, and about 10 miles from Newton, Mississippi. <laughs> so if you don't know where Jackson or Meridian or Newton is, it'd be very difficult for me to make you know really where I'm from. <laughs> but, 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 but you came from there and, and, and... I really, uh, I guess where you come from is not but so important in a way. Mm -hmm. it's, it's interesting how I got to Tennessee State mm -hmm. University. Uh, being in the country, uh, we did not have the best communication out there, so I didn't know a lot about many schools. I knew virtually nothing about Tennessee State. But uh, I had to graduate from high school uh, at Harris High School in Meridian, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. And I had, I lived there with an uncle of mine for a year. And he had two uh, boys who were attending Wilder College in Marshall, Texas. Mm -hmm. and I had given some thought about going to Wild College. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Dr. Davis became president of Tennessee State University in 1943. Mm -hmm. I came to Tennessee State in 1944. Mm -hmm. So shortly after becoming president of Tennessee State, Dr. Davis hired his good friend, uh, Dr. Walter Flowers, mm -hmm. who worked at Alcorn College in Mississippi, mm -hmm. to come to Tennessee State to be the state teacher trainer. Mm -hmm. So he brought his good friend up uh, to augment the staff at Tennessee State University. So Dr. Flowers actually came down to my community in Baxter mm -hmm. to visit with the principal ag teacher, a guy named Jake Grantham. Mm -hmm. And while at uh, Grantham's house, uh, Dr. Flowers met my father, and he learned from Dr. Grantham that uh, uh, my daddy had a son who was going to college that fall. Mm -hmm. So uh, Dr. Flowers inquired as to or my daddy as to where uh, I was going to college at Paul, and mm -hmm. daddy told him that I was talking about going to Wilder mm -hmm. College. Mm -hmm. So uh, before Dr. Flowers left, uh, he told my father to give that boy a hundred dollars and send him to me at mm -hmm. the Tennessee State mm -hmm. College. So when uh, daddy got back home that evening, uh, he told me that he had met Dr. Flowers and and what Dr. Flowers had offered, had offered me a scholarship if I came to, to Tennessee mm -hmm. and I State College. And he asked me, what did I think about the offer? So I told him it sounded good to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the very next day, I caught the bus, went to Meridian, and had my transcript sent to Tennessee and I State College. Mm -hmm. And I guess uh, within six weeks after that, I arrived on campus mm -hmm. at Tennessee State. You, it might be interesting to you, Dr. Haney, to know that uh, the first time that I left the state of Mississippi, mm -hmm. I was on my way to Tennessee State <laughs> University <laughs> College 
in Nashville, Tennessee. Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And that was a long, a long ride for me. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I caught the train there at Newton, Mississippi, and rode up to Meridian, had to ch change trains there. So I got another train out of there uh, late, late that uh, Saturday night, mm -hmm. and uh, took it over to Birmingham, and then transferred to another a tra train that took me into Nashville. Okay, of course, Mr. Quinton, let us take this first commercial break, after which we'll come back and pick up from uh, your uh, entrance into Nashville and talk about other things. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. The guest is...